Yo, what is up guys? Jamie here. I'm here with Hearts Iron 4, the Great War mod. And let's see what havoc we can wreck today. 1910 is a challenging time for the peace in Europe. The Italians are preparing a war with the Ottomans, which will threat their hold in the Balkans. Rebellion in Morocco is beginning to boil over. Much to the anguish of the French, of France, and to the delight of the German Empire. All in all, either either clear heads will be needed to keep the peace, or strong hearts to win the war. So we're actually going to go Abyssinia. Why is this? Eh, because I feel like it. Now you start off in a very bad situation until the war. Unless you can get military access from Italy. Which just sucks. Uh, Por que no los dos? Because not the two? It should be Por que no los dos with a space between Por and que, which would mean why not the two. But we actually start off with a base focus tree. And get this! Three research slots. That's pretty powerful for an African nation. Of course, we're very behind in technology. Like, we need a research from Mosinagon. Some radio. And mechanical computing. And I first think... I went communist last when I did this. It went very well. So, so should I remain authoritarian? Or should I continue being, or should I go democratic? Or possibly should I go fascist? Let's see, are there any fascist countries in the world? No, there are not. And there will not be for quite a while. Unless I boost one into changing their focus that way. Okay. So. Uh... I think I will go possibly fascist or uh, should I go communist? Well, we'll decide when we get there. All right. So, oh, yeah, not today. Um Ethiopia starts out with a lot of generals. <laughs> See? And I shall go with... I turn you down? Oh. Main ally same, please. Or not Lufthalf on March. Oh, that was Lufthalf on March. There. So this is where we want to put our front line. Why? Because we're attack when we get out of when we try and get out of Italy. We're gonna have two separate front lines. One on this one province to push up here, and two on this province. So we can take the port. I'm not going to train any troops right this second. I'm going to let my guns build up. Why is very important. Uh, I don't actually have any ports. Because it only takes them all.
Eastern Isle 3 infrastructure like the rest of Africa. It's very annoying. Is my head sound full? Yes it is, that's why this is so loud. Alright, okay, there we go. Let's train two divisions at a time. Trust me, they're like really, it's like really easy to mass produce this. Alright, we've gone down political effort. Um. I think what we're gonna do is go down, they take position. And we're going to, uh. Support France and Russia? Or no, we're gonna support Germany and Austria Hungary. And we're gonna sell them small volunteers and stuff. So we need to go down diplomatic effort. Yeah. Alright. So now that we've gone down that, I'm using additional effects and national ideas. Because it's nicer and the AI does it too, so it's not really cheating. Alright. Um, we have some troops coming in soon. They're reinforcing the Kaiser's authority. They're asserting their position in the east. <laughs> Ooh, the Korean Empire, a dawn, dawn. A Korean Empire, a Japanese puppet state since the assassination of Queen Min in 1895, has just signed a treaty with the Japanese government that resulted in full annexation. Though the Russian Empire and the United States are complaining about this measure, no official actions have been taken against out against Japan yet. It seems that Korea's long legacy will go out with nothing more than a whimper. So that's very interesting. That means Japan just annexed Korea. Which, if my history serves me right, this means China... Well, if they had a focus tree, I don't think this mod is fully done yet. Would go and challenge Japan now, because... Well, no, 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 that's when Japan annexes um, Manchuria, right? Yeah, I believe so. But let's see. Hold on, did they get to annex Manchuria? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to put up the music back on. There we go. Okay. Okay, the invasion of Manchuria is in 1927. Alright, let's some pause. Now this is going to be uh, less edited than my normal videos, so I'm going to um, host more of a playthrough, but I'm still going to cut out the stupidly boring parts. Alright, mechanical computing and the radio have been finished. Let's get encryption, or no, let's get decryption so we can see what other people are doing. Let's get a communication systems. And we don't need that. Let's get basic hand tools. Actually, wait. Because I have communication systems, I think I want new surgical equipment. Instead of decryption, I think I want manpower transports. That is actually quite loud. I wonder if it's louder than me. There we go. I can hear myself think. Hmm.
Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go level one here, which is I think a new feature that I've added. It basically just gives you a bunch of buffs. The video quality, by the way, is uh, worse than normal. I'm using Game Bar right now because Shadowplay won't work. I'm gonna get a drink real quick. Alright, sorry about that. I just need to get a drink because my mouth was dry. And you can't really talk when your mouth's dry. Alright, we got diplomatic effort, so we're gonna take position. Why am I doing this? I'm just doing it the way I did it last time. So what am I going to get first? I'm going to get a Communist Revolutionary. What's so great about Communism? Well, let me explain it to you, little Timmy. Um, when the Soviet Union goes and has its civil war, you can actually join the Comintern. Believe it or not. And you can keep sending volunteers to... France and Germany, so it's not going to be boring. You're going to still have some fighting. Until the common turn, unless, until the common turn goes down, it's a nice little tree. And start restarts the war with Germany. Even though that didn't happen in real life. I don't know why it does that. I think it does that. I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, we're going to get Communist Revolution. Now, I'm sorry, it, I'm only taking spaces in between talking when I am uh, swallowing spit or something. <laughs> I actually do like how there are models for this. So, what we're going to do is, well, we don't have an army group yet, so we need to make one. I don't know why my game decided to do that. You will only need up to those five. Four, two, I, 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 I can't, I, I have to censor that. No, not on the Egyptian board. You know, I can imagine this in real life, how incompetent the command is at first. Just, no, I told you on the Egyptian, on the, uh, I told you, I didn't tell you to go on that border, but sir, here it is, written down. Go on the Egyptian border. <laughs> Boy, would that be frustrating. <laughs> Some incompetent high command. Uh, should I actually be able to building anything? Well, I only have two civilian factories, so there's not really much point. Let's see, what cost more? I can build an airbase. Using hindsight 2020 airbases are actually a pretty good idea because the Soviets will use them if you go to war with the Entente. By the way, I'm getting all of this down, all my construction down because, um, alright, let me explain something to you guys. If For those of you who don't know the Great War Mod very well, this is your default focus tree. You have diplomatic effort, political effort, army effort, aviation effort, industrial effort, naval effort. We're focusing on industrial effort. There's three there's three infrastructure efforts that that's two infrastructure. I have three infrastructure. That means when you go down all of these, you have you were left with nine infrastructure, which is what I did. So Ethiopia became a super highway. It was great. Um, wait. Yeah, after take position, I'm going to go down. 
this is what I did. I'm going to go down support Germany, support Austria, Hungary, and then I'm going to go down a few other Mexican opposition, huh? Support Germany. Oh look, the Mexicans have woken from their nap in quite in Spanish tradition and sh and started shooting each other. That's great. Do, do they have the default focus tree? They don't. I know that for much, for sure. They have the same focus tree. Okay. Wonder how they did that. On October 5th, 1910, Mad Perro issued a letter for jail known as the Plan de Plan de du San Luis Potisi, Potisi with its main slogan "O su Suffragio Efectivo, No Reelection." Um, it declared the Diaz presidency illegal and called for revolt. Yeah, this is too old. Don Diaz is malo. No razón. No es razón, I mean. Oh, no es mucho ra uh, No mucho razón. Not very smart. Sorry, I'm, t I'm taking uh, Spanish in uh, school. And so, basically, I can only speak about a certain topics, but I speak a very formal version of... But I speak the very formal version of Spanish, a.k.a. Spanish Spanish. And, you know, the very formal version where most of the things you say involve you usted. So when you're... Or a lot of the things involved with stead. And it's nice. Okay, I need to get Fobbins work on the works on the defense. You might be asking me, Jamie, why are you doing all of this? Why why do you torture yourself? I like entertaining people, and people like seeing stupid challenges like this. I do myself. <sighs> now let's see if I can make it through this video without having to pronounce any of this. Goya, Goyam, Sivari, Kubur, Zabanga. Walk hot, Simenin, Safari, Simien, Safari. Sorry, I read that wrong. So, what is the point of cavalry in this mod? I think they have a higher soft attack than infantry. They must have a higher hard attack. No? Oh, the difference between organization, right? Yeah, they have better organization. But I was looking cavalry can entrench, which is the problem. <laughs> so basically, in this mod, they're better for attacking, but they're. Not so great in anything else. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, let's 
So, how oh, if I could send volunteers, I actually would. Okay, we have 2,000 Kaikanos in reserve. Which is, well, sorry. Um, which is great, so... We have quite a lot of Kaikanos. Nine degrees Celsius, isn't that like... I don't actually know the... The rate, it was like, what, 40 degrees Fahrenheit? Oh, it's, it's kind of chilly. It's even like spring in this, in, in, right in the game right now. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, but I do have the additional, the, uh, extended, extended piece mod, or extended white piece mod. I forget what it's called. Um, so what it does is, if I'm at war, I, I can't... I can now try and surrender. Alright. So, we're gonna try trench evacuation. And we're gonna get some war medicine. Okay, this is going to be the start of our southern front. I should name all these guys, honestly. So when I get trenches, I know exactly where to put them. Devoured the Sheik. The Albanians have scored an upset of victory over the Turkish forces today. After a surprising attack on much numerically superior Ottoman force, on a much superior Ottoman Shut up, boss. You're hungry. I'm, I'm doing something. The Albanians lured the pursuing Turks to the nearby town of Tuzi, where, joined by the rebels from Montenegro, they overthrew the bottlenecked forces into a tree. The Turkish authority in the Balkans has fallen further into question as a result. Nice. Now, before we go down industrial uh, industrial efforts and all that, what we need to go down is intervention. I haven't been recording this entire time. Let's reload the autosave. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway. But after we go down an intervention of some folk, or after we get to foreign expeditions, then we'll go down an industrial effort. Why? You'll see. We still have 2,000 vertices, keeping a steady 2,000 guns in the stockpile. Let's name this army. No, 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 because they're in the south of the country, Dixie Boys. <laughs> and you? Since we're going to be attacking Somalia, French Somalia line, who are the reverse pirates, are. <laughs> and you, because you're attacking Eritrea, you are the, huh, demonic, 
demonetization. <laughs> Even though this isn't monetized. And you guys, you guys are my mountain boys. There we go. Okay, yeah, I can build trenches now. Where am I going to build a trench? Well, on the... Okay. Some Marxist sympathies in the government. We're going to build some trenches here. Okay, I should complete it in November. Okay, is it actually three provinces? No. Okay, I don't have to worry about the British front so much. I will actually get troops to make a circle line around my capital. But what I don't like is that Italy, Italy's just mean to me. Like, I think if they go down the right part of their focus tree, they can actually declare war on me. Oh, the communist revolutionary movement, once a fringe popular among radical academics in the theory and, and troublemakers in practice has seen increased support among the Ethiopian working class. The fact that even more people choose to identify themselves with a class all, at all implies that the Marxist ideal, ideas are spreading beyond those who actively seek to overthrow the government. Solomonic dynasty members lament this, lament this development. Lament this first development. Long for a time when Ethiopian was Ooh, I got a bunch of stuff. When Ethiopian, what was people identified as first and foremost? Their concerns are not unfounded. It could be argued that a revolution is already underway, occurring on several levels of society, and it may be too late to stop it. Alright. <laughs> I love how Ethiopia is inventing communism. It's great. So first, what do we want? We actually want to get somebody with more defense, because we want our divisions to have more defense. Believe me, our division templates suck. Oh, uh, do we want to get mining, or do we want to go down... Let's go down decryption. Machu Picchu uncovered. Machu Picchu, the grandest state of the Incan King pa Pachui Pachuiti has been found, last inhabited around 1550. It rested nearly untouched by the world community and its rediscovery by American explorer Iram Bingham. The Peruvian government is gleefully preparing for the influx of easily taxed tourists. Alright. But we got this now, so... What do we want to go down? We don't have... Alright, we want to go down mass charge. It's now 1811, the Balkan War should start soon, I think. Aw, oh, nobody trusts Ethiopia? Really? Alright, we're gonna focus on the southern front. Why? Because uh, I've played this game before, and I... I've played this uh, mod and this country before, and I know that uh, Italy really loves death stacking troops on the southern, on the, my southern flank. Don't mind how there are three troops here. No, they will death stack like their entire army here if I, once I go communist. But then they'll withdraw it as the war is declared. Well, not with their entire army. They'll death stack like 10 different divisions here, which is just stupid because, I mean, I have an army of 10. I've gotten an army of up to 31. 
Actually, Egypt, I was gonna say, maybe, well, that's the same as Egypt. No, Egypt stays at two. The entire game. <clears throat> Provoked by the increasing power of France over the state, Moroccan citizens have begun rebelling against Sultan... I'm not, I'm not gonna pronounce that word. As the French are preparing to lift the siege on the palace in Fez, the Germans have sent the SMS Panther to the port of the Agadir, Agadir in support of the rebels, claiming to be protecting German, German merchant, merchant, mercantile interests in the region. Presuming that the, in the event of rebel failure, Morocco will pass to direct control of France by France. Well, okay, hold on. Morocco will pass to direct control by France. If nothing is done in the situation, war could break out in Europe. Okay. That's interesting. So that means Morocco is rebelling. Do they get to learn on Focus G? No. That's cool. Do they have, like, National Spear? No. <sighs> war medicine. All right, we have war medicine now. Let's get mining. Oh yeah, we need to draw a battle plan for you guys, so you guys can get prepared for it. We want you to go grab that port. There we go. It is very doubtful that I will actually win. Oh, last night a thief has stolen the famous Mona Lisa from the Lavore from the Lavore last this morning. Or Louvre. Or from the Louvre? I have no idea how to pronounce that. This morning, Louis Barreau walked into the Salon Carré portion of the museum where the Mona Lisa had been on display, had been on display for five years, only to find four iron pegs on the wall. Local guards claimed the art was being photographed, which turned out to be untrue. And currently, the museum is closed for investigation. Sorry guys, I'm mispronouncing a lot of things. My drunk's really my my tongue's really dry. It's now bothered to actually talk. Okay. The September Revolution is inevitable. I don't actually want to start a civil war. Well, actually, I only have one state. So why did I do that? Foreign expeditions. Let's get some army training. All right. And then we need some troops on uh, Bridge Somaliland. Alright, we're almost there. Oh, like, ooh! The Xinghai Revolution! Let's go! Alright. 
Last army I'm making right the second. You can reuse up generals really quickly. All right. Oh, okay, my game's freezing up. Don't know what you're doing, game. I don't like it. We need to swoop in and grab that port. Six divisions. That's quite overkill, don't you think, Britain? <sighs> and then if we, and once we finish foreign expeditions, I think I shall send them volunteers. Oh, we need world tension as. Uh, uh, no, 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 at four percent or at fifteen percent. I need to go get a drink. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have 3,000 guns in reserve. Alright. I've researched that. Now let's research encryption. And I'll research that. Oh, nice. So, Italy declared war on the Ottoman Empire. Let's get a field hospital. The ultimatum was presented to the Ottoman government through Austrian t inter. Intermediation, intermediation, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, whoops. Uh, Ottomans replied with the proposal of transferring control of, of Libya without war, maintaining a formal Ottoman suzerainty. What, what are these words? I, I can guess what they mean, but still. The Italian, ref the Italian refused. The single Italian refused. The war is now declared. Alright. So now we're going down industrial effort. Which is going to be great. So... Only have 12 divisions and I have to hold one, two, three, four fronts. No, five fronts. Oof. Right. Oh, yeah, Italy, you're making some progress. Nobody likes me. Okay. Alright, that, that's cool. Oh. On December 14th, 1911, Ro Roald Amundsen, 
and four others arrived at the pole, five weeks ahead of a British party led by Robert Falcon Scott as part of the Terra Nova expedition. Munson and his team returned safely to their base, and later learned that Scott and, four and his four companions had died on the return journey. Oof. That sucks. Wish I like added it to the map. That would be cool. That's weird. That's a weird state setup. Somali land, and that's Arita. Eritrea, sorry. Ooh, the white beast. So Italy won the Italo Turkish War. Alright. It's now 1912, right? Yeah. 